Hello, this is Marilyn again. Um, if you saw my video um, of Journals on a Budget Part 1, this is Journals on a Budget Part 2, and I was going to give you a quick little go through of a couple dresses I have here that have ruching on them or a ruffle. This first one is turquoise with a little white um, baby rickrack around the edge here. That ruffle was really kind of cute. And then I did a little rickrack trim around the bottom. Here's a little bit bigger dress. This one has a rick rack that's red on the ruffle. This one has a red apron. Here's one that's kind of a little more unusual. Um, this one has a little bit of rick rack around the uh, back seams. And then I have some gingham check with a little uh, rick rack on one edge of it and, it, and it's finished off with bias, um, bias tape on the edge. And I have one that's got rick rack that's black on some red. And I have another one that's navy blue with red, red rickrack. One that's black with some pink. That's kind of unusual. And I have some that's um, blue with um, a two-tone um, ruching that is matches the apron on one side, which is blue, and the print of the bodice. And I have these two that are um, from Germany, and they both have rickrack on one side and these are real fun. Now, because I'm doing dirndls on a budget, I have something else to share with you. Here's a good budget saving idea. I went to a garage sale this summer and I got these two boxes. Each of them, I think, were two dollars. This one, including the box, was full of sewing things, um, all sorts of bias tapes of all different colors. Each one of these nowadays would probably be $1.99 or more than that per, per pack. pink, lavender, some that even have sparkles on it. Got this whole box for $2. So if you keep your eyes open and you're at a garage sale, this is a great bargain, especially if you're going to make dirndls on a budget. Little tiny white rickrack that I sewed on one side, the underside of the uh, fold of fabric, and then you fold it over on itself, and I'll show you later on how you make it. Once you sew that on, you just stitch right down through the middle here and it sort of just pops right up. I didn't do any hand sewing on this at all, sewed it all by machine and that's a, a nice little example of a, of a dress. I made this at, about four years ago for one of my granddaughters and this one has gingham check ruffle here and I sewed a large pink rickrack on one edge and then I did the outer edge of it with a double fold bias tape on the edge. It was kind of thick. So it kind of just sticks right up and I used some little hooks on this that I showed you in the first video and um, sewed over them a little button with some beads and this is kind of a fun dress. And this one I used some pink eyelet and sewed a little bit of rickrack in the hem. That one's kind of a fun dress. Now these next two dresses are from Germany and I think they have a really neat feature. Um, the ruching on these ones, uh, the way they did it is they have a button front closure, and then there's a little snap, if I can get that off, and it kind of goes across the front. See? It, it, the ruching ends right here, and you can see that there's pink, thick rickrack that they sewed on the one side, and then there's little, some little snaps, and then when you get done putting your dress on, you snap it across here. I didn't quite do it right. You need two hands. and. Uh, that's kind of a neat way they did it, and it looks really neat, and then it matches because it's, it's a pretty printed skirt, and then there's a pink apron. I think that's a really pretty dress. Okay, well, we finished up showing you lots of different examples of ruching, so part three, we're going to actually make some ruching, and then part four, we'll show how to attach it to your dress, because making it's one thing, and putting it onto your dress will be quite another. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Bye.